Hey guys, um, welcome to another video. Just doing something a little bit different here today. Um, been seeing a lot of people posting about their immersed plant grow setups. So I thought I'd just give you a little tour of what I've got going on. I've got a lot of containers here and around the other side of my house under this shade cloth that I've just dodgily set up. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a quick little tour of what we got going on down here and show you guys my immerse grow setup for my aquatic plants that I'm growing and keeping. So yeah. So yeah, first kale off the bat here we have um there's some bacopa carolinia up the back there but this is all styrion repens or s repens it flowers as you can see there on its own this is just grown in really cheap um soil from bunnings as you can see here it grows up pretty tall in some places and then other places it carpets along the bottom but yeah really neat it's cool to see these plants grown um, out of the water. This is uh, Ludwigia aracuta. Um, I only just set this one up uh, not that long ago. I haven't really maintained it though, this bunch yet. But it's just doing its thing, so it's like rooting into the ground. Once it roots into the ground, it's going to start sending up side shoots off of it. So just waiting to see what happens there, but it's all like knocked down at the moment. So yeah. There's about 150 or two in there. I know it doesn't look like there is, but it definitely is. Um, in this one here, if I can get into it, just have to read that across. This is my Monte Carlo carpeting, and it's got some Ludwigias and Rotalas just all mixed into it, but um, also Hygrophilus. So, yeah, this is the Monte, Car Monte Carlo grow out here. really lush green carving actually i think those are some wow these i haven't actually looked at these in a while but these are massive these are these are s repens here wow they've just shot up holy crap <laughs> wow i haven't actually checked on this monte Carlo in ages because i've got another monte Carlo around the other side but man i didn't know s repens grew up like that that's crazy well i guess seeing something new on this video for myself too <laughs> I'll have to get those out of there later and move them into the S Reppens container. I've never seen S Reppens grow upwards like that. It's always been like a bottom door really for me, but uh, in here we got the Ludwigia Palustria, Ludwigia Red, grows red underneath the Aquarian Lights and underwater some most grown, but yeah, there's a couple of thousand of them in here. Really, really lush growth. This fig, just been propagating this one. Along here, just, this is like kind of like a bin I just chucked the spare stock in, but I think the Bocoma Carolinia is absolutely taken over in here. There is some S repens down the bottom and a hydrophilia. But the Copper Carolinia, I mean, look at the size of these guys. These are huge. That's, that's a forest. That is a forest. Look at how thick that is. These are massive. But yeah, they, they're massive guys. They are absolutely huge. They go on to the top of this container. I mean, these containers are pretty average size. They're not, they're not small by any means, like height-wise. Yeah. Uh, this one here was kind of an experiment I was working on with some Hygrophil Lancia putting them in pots and just letting them grow out of um so this water is really really um rich with nutrients so they're doing all right in this container here the same thing just an experiment um hygrophilia uh sunset i'm pretty sure that is looks like it is and we got hygrophil lancia this is one of my favorite plants hygrophil lancia um I actually just seeded these, got the seeds off them. There's still a couple of seeds on this. So I'm gonna grow some, but oh, there's still more seeds on there. I had to come back and get these later. But yeah, we got um, water wisteria here, another type of hygrophila. And water wisteria growing out through here too. It's starting to flower, so gonna get some seeds off this guy too. Uh, a couple of 
seeds. There's me Q-tip that I used to germinate. I mean, not germinate, pollinate, sorry. Yeah, lots of flowers on these guys, so you can get the seeds off these and maybe we'll get like something. To, um, growing them from seed, you never know what you might end up with, so yeah. And in here we got some more Ludwigia Aracuda, a very thick, lush, dense amount of it in here. This is a slightly smaller container, as you can see in my hand. Um, but very lush growth. This one's been growing for a while. There's a couple of thousand of that in there. In here we have water milfoil. So this has never really worked out in a container for me. Um, still isn't. Uh, growing it in a pond at the moment in a uh, what am I growing? Yeah, I'm growing it in a pond at the moment in a um, pot. That seems to be doing the best trick. In here we have more hydrophil lands here. These were actually all grown from seed um, at the start of last year. And we have some micro swords as well. So just seeing, testing the micro swords, I just kind of chucked them in here just to see what would happen. Uh, I'm not really sure if they were gonna take off, but they kind of did, because I only ended up with, like, I only started with about 10, 10 like swords, and there's probably close to 100 in there, I reckon. I don't know, I haven't gone from counted it. In here we have Ludwigia Aracuda and well this is actually a crossbreed of Ludwigia Aracuda and Ludwigia Repens so someone crossbred these with the flowers pollinate, pollinating them together so that one's interesting actually when it's on the water also in here we have I don't even know how to pronounce it Alpha Renecki or something like that um, but it is yeah so it's a red plant underwater. Pretty nice looking stems. That's only a very, very small container, but uh, still working on that guy. In here, we have Rotali Green. This is one of a couple of tubs of this. I'm only gonna show you the one tub because it's pretty boring. Off the back here, guys, we have um, some more water wisteria. I just changed the camera to the macro lens, so it's like it zoomed out a bit more. In here, this is my boot copper. So this is like one of the first plants I started with. Um, that's why I've got so much of it, but I don't even propagate it anymore. It kind of just propagates itself. And down here, in this container, I'm trying to bring back my, M not my Amazon, sorry, my frog bit, my Australian native frog bit, which died off, but it's coming back now. And in here, we have more Ludwigia plushia. Absolute choppers of Ludwig Plastria. It's a um, really quick grower. And in here we have Ludwig Repens. Obviously, I'm not going to leave that out if I have Plastria. There's a flower down there. Crazy. I didn't think these would flower that quick. Uh, this one is actually Rotala Rotunda Foil. I'm um, not doing too good in this container. But because the shade cloth kind of like was down a bit and this area and I think it burnt it also got Azola growing there um, got like Amazon frog beard but moving along here got some more S repens these are absolutely massive S repens I don't even know why they're so big um, they're just such big leaves on them I've never seen them like that but this is another experimental container here Got um, some blue stricta, which is hygrophila. I've got some Athana ranechia, however that's pronounced, I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, lots of blue stricta going in here. Got some Ludwigia palustria and some water wisteria. Now, that was obviously one of those experiments with the strong fertilizer and the pots. And over here, this was really strong fertilizer with Rotala, Rotunda for Colorado. Um, I've actually gotten rid of a lot of this selling it, so that's why it's like kind of low at the moment, but it does grow pretty damn quick. Moving on along here, this is a new container I recently just set up. Um, this is Ludwigia Super Red, which is a plush trail, but it's like a really red variety. And I've got some Rotala, um, uh, what's this called? Rotala. So this is Rotala Indica. I had a brain fart right then, but we got there in the end. <laughs> and here's another like Rotala Green container. So 
really no point in showing that one, but Rotala, Rotunda Foil, Colorado. A couple of other little things growing around in here, but majority of it is that, and we got some hygrophil lands here. I love hygrophil lands here and how it turns purple. This one is an absolute mess here. Lots of blue stricter in here. Water, wisteria. I've got some Bocopa Salazlami, and that is the purple variety of Bocopa, which is pretty cool. Been waiting for that one to grow up. Lots of Ludwigia Plastria, Ludwigia Repens on this side. This one's just an absolute mess. I've got some Rotala Blood Red up the back here and a couple over the side here. Waiting for that to grow through so I can put them in their own tubs. And this was my Hagrophila Sunset, but it all burnt off and it's slowly starting to grow back now. And finally, um, this is the, yeah, mess. <laughs> no, it's, uh, so we got the big cup of Carolina up the back and we have some su Sua Stricta or something like that. I don't remember what this was called, actually. It was a, a mouse growing plant. Oh, Moab Stricta, sorry. So that's actually an aquarium like decal or deco plant. Like it dies if you don't immerse grow it. So just growing that out. And um, Monte Carlo, Hagrophil lands here. This is getting massive, this one. So trying to grow these into like little trees really to get the seeds off them. But yeah, that's all I've got growing on. Growing in the back here so far. I want to move into different types of plants eventually, but at the moment that's just what I'm so dealing yeah, with. Yeah guys, that's just a little bit of what I've um, got going on currently. Got some fish tanks set up on back here, but um, yeah, I used to do fish tank videos um, a fair bit earlier on the channel, so I know a lot of the new subscribers are coming from like the wild catch and collect fish, but um, just showing a different side of the content as well that I usually do or used to do a couple of years ago. Um, before I moved and everything got all muddled up and I stopped really posting but yeah um, Hope you guys enjoyed that and just had a little bit of a tour of what I've got going on and you know See see what I've been doing see what I've been up to. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed um, If you did enjoy consider subscribing and checking out my other videos where I go and catch wild um, released aquarium fish and we remove them from that environment where they're not supposed to be because in Australia they're invasive species. So yeah, if you guys enjoy seeing fish in their natural environments or a natural environment, you might enjoy these videos and you might want to go check them out. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.